Can you guess what this is? Well, if you've read the title, I'm sure you know. So this episode, we are going to talk about thumb brakes. So if you watched last episode, you saw me opening a few packages and you might have uh, spotted that. One or two of you commented what you thought it was, but no one got it, actually got it right. Yeah, it's a, uh, a thumb brake. The reason I bought this thumb brake is because I just couldn't get a uh, conventional hydraulic brake to fit. So let me just explain why I actually went down the route of this uh, thumb brake. When I bought the bike, it was spares and repairs and it didn't actually come with the brake pedal. Because it didn't come with the uh, foot brake, I did not know how it was going to fit anyway. Since then, we've actually changed the swing arm, the rear wheel. We've made something that fit that shouldn't fit, including the disc brake. The rear wheel had a drum brake on it as standard and we've upgraded from that to a hydraulic disc brake. That means we couldn't use any of the original system. I tried to think of a few different ways that we could go down. I bought this. This is off the uh, this is off a CBR125, which is what the swing arm came from. And I thought this might have a chance of fitting. Um, it comes with the master cylinder and all the uh, brakes switch, the reservoir, everything, including the pedal. And I had a look and I thought it might fit somewhere like that, but looking at it, it looks stupid and. There's no way for it to actually bolt to or mount to. I could have put it down here, but again, that would have needed a lot, needed a lot of fabrication work to get just this side to fit, let alone having to do the other side as well to match. So I threw this idea out the window and I thought the most straightforward, yet it's the most expensive way of doing it, um, is just to go with this thumb brake. So that goes into my next question. How are we going to fit this? It's very, very simple. All you need is a long hydraulic line all the way down to the back disc. It's really simple. We just need custom brake lines made, making up to the length from the back of the disc all the way up to the handlebar. So you're probably thinking, how do you actually know what length you need? It's, it's really, really easy. Just get string, lots and lots of string. All you need to do, you just attach that to the uh, master cylinder and you just follow the route that you want it to take. For me, I want it to go down through under the tank, down the frame, all the way back to the caliper. Let's do that now, let's get this measured and work out what, what length we need and then we'll go and get these lines made up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut this string here because that's the length I need and go and take this to a shop where they can make some custom lines for me. Uh, so let's go and do that now. So I'm on my way to um, a place where I can get some custom fitted uh, brake lines made. Made it? Is that even a word? Uh, I've take, I'm taking all the fittings for the uh, brake side and the new master cylinder side. So I will see you when we get there. <laughs> half done oh nice so that's quick yeah it's easy as just squeezing an end down all you gotta do with this is put some masking tape on it yeah and put a line in the direction that it's going yeah okay if you do feel you need to change the angle of the banjo that's I yeah mean, that it's no problem so i've left i've left that loose choose the orientation of it and then they'll crimp it for me nice so we are back and we have one long brake line I went for this, uh, I just went for a clear coated nylon line. I went for a flat end at the uh, servo side and I went for a bit of a curved one at the, uh, the brake side. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start from the brake side, bolt that down and then follow it along the frame and work it all the way to the handlebars. So let's get this bad boy fitted. So before we get that brake line fitted, we need to actually fit the thumb brake itself. It's going to be a pretty straightforward job, but it's the most important part, so let's go and get that done.
I thought I might as well do the front as well as doing the back just to kind of keep it the same. It's not, there's no point having braided brake lines on the back and not on the front, so we've got a pair. The pair cost me about £40 to have them made. It's not that much considering they're custom made lines. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get this fitted as well. And then we can uh, actually get some fluid in there and see if they work. go around and fitting all the uh, the copper washers, go and get some fluid, see if they work. The next thing on the list is I need to fit, all I need to do is get a pipe from the master cylinder to this, make sure it's at the top above anything else, then ooh, oh, throw, throw it this I'd rather have brakes before I actually get the bike started, so I'm going to go and buy some brake fluid, buy some, get some hose for that reservoir, make a bracket, so let's go and do that now. So like a lemon, I forgot that I needed to get this crimped up. Because I've been filming this over the space of a week, I completely forgot that I needed to go and get this crimped up before I can go and actually fit any, put any fluid in. So I'm actually gonna have to do this in next episode. I'm still gonna do the front brake and get that working because that's something I haven't got done yet. Just so you can see the process of bleeding a brake and so on and so on. Tom's coming around now, we're gonna get this br uh, brake bled. I think that's gonna be it for this episode. So let's just get that done and we will Wrap it up. Keep uh, pushing the fluid through a bit more, get the last few bubbles out, and then uh, see where it goes. So while we're doing this, I'm going to finish the video because we're going to be here for a while. So if you've got any comments regarding what we're doing or about this setup, drop a comment down below. Like the video, subscribe if you're new, and I shall see you next week.